Hey guys, welcome back to Verensis Math Club. Today we'll be learning about nonlinear functions and patterns. This is a really quick and easy topic because all you need to know is the difference between a linear function and a nonlinear function. Remember that a linear function always follows the rule of y equals mx plus b, which is the standard form of any linear equation or function. In y equals mx plus b, the x and the y are the coordinates, the m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. In order to determine whether a function is linear or nonlinear, you need to find the slope. If there is a slope, which is the same, then that means that the function is going to be linear. However, if the slope isn't the same in the coordinates, that would make the function nonlinear. So in other words, we're basically trying to find a pattern in our x values and y values. So let's go ahead and find the pattern and determine the slope. In our x-coordinates, we see that it increases by 1 each time. For our y-coordinates, if it first increases by 2, then by 1, by 2 again, and then by 3. Remember that the slope is always rise over run. Or in other words, y over x. So the slope here, first it's 2 over 1, then it's 1 over 1, then it's 2 over 1 again, and then 3 over 1. Remember that if a function is going to be linear, the slope has to be the same. And as you can see here, the slope isn't the same. So this is what makes this function a nonlinear function. This is basically it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.